question. I'm, I'm asking that uh, we keep our answers fairly short on these. But uh, well, what do you think is, is the most pressing issue that uh, would face Congress today, and, and uh, what would you do to, to fix it? Sure, absolutely. The simple answer is jobs. Um, I, I think that's probably not a surprise for any of us, but uh, you know, I think Gene mentioned the figures, but we have hammered jobs here in South Central Kansas, and I think that uh, the voters of the fourth district are demanding some real solutions to get this uh, economic house in order. Uh, in terms of what we can do, I would say you know, really two things. Uh, number one is there are uh, getting the nation's fiscal house in order, getting government's fiscal house in order uh, is very, very important. We do have too much spending. We do have to get uh, spending accountability in Washington, and I think we can all agree to that. Uh, and so that's obviously the first and foremost job as a member of Congress is to make sure that we get back to balanced budgets. Uh, some of you may recall, it seems like a, a wistful generation ago, but just 10 years ago, uh, we had a balanced budget uh, and, and, um, at the federal level. And we need to get back to that as soon as possible. And we need to do that, again, by pulling together. It's not going to happen if we continue to engage in the name calling, the partisanship, and think that only one side has the answer, and one side has caused all of the, all of the problems and fiscal mess that we're in. It's going to require a serious, sober, bipartisan commitment to reducing the deficit and reducing and, and taking on tough challenges like entitlements to actually get our nation's fiscal house in order. Secondly, if I could, I would also talk about there is a great potential if we invest in innovation. You know, Wichita and South Central Kansas has a great history of entrepreneurship. And if we can invest strategically and smartly in new technologies, renewable energies, composite manufacturing, what have you, we can actually create new industries for South Central Kansas for the next 100 years so that we're not reliant simply on, uh, we obviously want to do everything we can to keep and expand our aviation cluster, but let's grow new clusters as well to make sure that we're at South Central Kansas in a growth prospect rather than just a staying, uh, staying with the status quo.